Hi everyone, Nathan Hall here. We're going to spend a little more time talking about ecology and environmental science. Uh, this will be a big subject for quarter four for a lot of you. And if not, well, it'll be a big subject next year. It's kind of a hot thing in the sciences. So this is something we talked about a couple of quarters ago, quarter two. We started with an ecosystem. Questions will answer, why do living things need to eat each other? Unless you're eating rocks, and some people do, you're eating living things. Something else to look at, how do they all work together? If all these big birds died, well, that means a lot more little things, right? Would that cause problems? Kind of would. <laughs> oh, you have all these little things died. Uh, it'd be done. So a big thing we'll look at, change of cycles are interdependent. Uh, terms related to ecology and evolution. Why they make things work together in an ecosystem. So one thing we'll talk about in the live class. Most of you I know are more basketball fans than soccer fans. But I like this example. Because so soccer, we basically have two populations. They compete. We have the fans cheering them on. They, they are all humans and soccer players that want to beat each other. People out here are just cheering. They want a good game. And that shows what a human community is like, how we compete and we cooperate. We work with our own team to beat the other team. They share a habitat. In that case, they're all in the stadium. <laughs> so they all interact in different ways. This bird, this little red bird you're going to see a lot of this time of year. It eats caterpillars. One eats, one gets eaten. They also, this bird's also got to fight other birds. So here are a couple words that will come up. Predator and prey. Predators eat things. Prey get eaten. An example. So herring, those little fish, all move together. You're going to see prey, uh, prey species usually work in a group. That way most of them survive when they're attacked. Some won't. So they, the prey species, some birds are examples of predators. They'll affect how many predators are around in the area here. Here's something we'll look at in live class. What's predator? What is prey? What eats and what is eaten? So a big thing, competition. Here we've got a hyena competing with vultures for a dead thing. They both want that food. Both going to fight for it. And within species, there is, cooper there is competition as well. These deer, that's why they grow these horns, so they can hit each other. So they can coexist, live in the same place without too much trouble, but every now and then there's tr but every now and then that happens. And cooperation is a big deal. Lions cooperate, monkeys cooperate, humans cooperate. So that's something we'll look at. Here are some questions that will show up in your homework and quizzes in the soccer game. What's the competition? Where's the cooperation? What role do the referees play? And one more thing we're going to talk about, symbiosis. If you ever saw Finding Nemo, remember, Nemo lives in an anemone, which little Nemo had a hard time pronouncing. Yeah, Marlin ha was okay with that. So the fish, it's immune to these. It gets a safe place to live, the clownfish. And in return, other fish come, try to eat it, get eaten by the anemone. Both get helped. He gets a safe place. He gets a meal. This is a living thing. So also, mutualism. That's the best situation where both get to survive. A hummingbird eating from a flower. A hummingbird gets a meal, spreads the uh, pollen from the flower. They both get something from it. There's another example talking about life class with termites. And here's some other ones we'll look at. And here's one question you'll have to answer coming up. Scar and Simba from the Lion King. Is this interspecies competition, different species Competition? Is it cooperation? What is going on with these two? Because if you saw Lion King, this all ties back to that. It's just like the circle of life. Pretty much everything in that movie comes through in science. If you remember nothing else from this video, remember that. That's all I have for today. Try the questions below. Try the homework. Try the quiz. Come to live class if you have questions. Goodbye for now.